According to the survey, Namibia scored 50 out of 100 on the 2017 Open Budget Index. The survey also indicated that the score has largely been the same as its 2015 score. Compared to 10 African countries on which a budget transparency survey was done, Namibia's score is the second best following South Africa. This, according to the survey, is because countries like Botswana and Zambia have been moving backwards in terms of budget transparency. IPPR Executive Director Graham Hopwood highlighted some of the steps that government can take in order to improve the country's open budget index scores. Um, we need to make sure the citizens' budget, which is a good initiative, is available. Um, it's available printed on, in a print, but also available online in a timely manner. Um, and we, we should be publishing a pre-budget statement. As I said, in Namibia, I think that's slightly complicated, and an audit report online. So those are, most of those are fairly basic things that could be tackled uh, that would improve Namibia's standing. We need to ensure the executive budget proposal is provided to parliamentarians at least two months before the start of the budget year, um, ensure the standing committees uh, can examine the reports and do examine the reports on in-year budget implementation and that they publish their recommendations. So much of what our standing committees do, and I gather they meet a lot, but they don't uh, make public. I mean, the Public Accounts Committee invites the media usually to cover their discussions of the Auditor General's report. But otherwise, committees, um, when they meet at Parliament and don't seem to operate publicly, we can understand maybe at some points they want to be in camera, they want to be on their own discussing issues, but then why can't they make available some reports or minutes of what they are doing? Um, that would be a good step forward. Penda Ithindi from the Ministry of Finance, speaking on the behalf of the Finance Minister, Kale Schlettwein, highlighted the lengths at which the Ministry is going to ensure information is shared with the public. In our view, it is erratic to assert that the legislature and the public are not provided with adequate budget information. Because really, to have a set, if we were only having a single year budget and have that myopic look at things, then we would uh, concede that the information is sufficient. But if the government and the ministry comes out and provide a, a three-year outlook with actually a granular detail, we believe that uh, that information is, uh, is optimal and fairly sufficient. The formulation of the MTEF and the budget starts at the vote, starts at the vote level with the participation of regional and local governments as well as the affected juristic bodies. Development projects are identified at the local and the regional levels with the input from beneficiaries and affected members of the community. So um, in that process really, and to see how the local governments are set up and they are represented by the representatives of the people, uh, we believe that the public is to a large extent given room to participate and the comment and give their views as regards the programs that affect them. He further noted that the ministry is aware that innovation is a continuous process and that there are areas that can be improved. Adding that the Public Finance Management Bill, which is a priority legislation reform, would amongst others strengthen some of the institutional arrangements and mechanisms which are currently taking place.